There was song and celebration as officials from across the region converged on the Luzerne County Courthouse on September 25th to celebrate the building's 100th anniversary. The current courthouse, which is the fourth in the county's history, was not created without controversy, as noted by Luzerne County Historical Society Executive Director Anthony Brooks. Some say the building was born into controversy, unloved and unwanted. Various groups with competing ideas of architecture and placement jockeyed for more than a decade. Pennsylvania Supreme Court Justice Max Baer noted that after a hundred years, controversy again surrounds the building. Former judges Mark Chivarella and Michael Conahan were indicted by the federal government for the alleged placement of juveniles into detention centers for personal profit. Two judges went back, and from them a plague has spread upon this community, contaminating others, I suppose, and impacting everything that is done within you. Despite the actions of Conahan and Chivarella, Bear urged those in attendance to take the occasion to honor the justice that had been served fairly in the impressive structure since its dedication in 1909. What is the real history? What is not the footnote? This building that was built and that stands so proud. And I suggest to you that the two crooked judges will be the footnote to history. Outside the courthouse walls, activists like Gene Stilp felt that there is no need for ceremony in the wake of scandal. They can have all the official ceremonies, ceremonies they want inside, but corruption still continues. That uh, this should be the first day of a new century of ethics, a century of ethics and a reform here. In his closing benediction, Rabbi Larry Kaplan offered this hope for the next century. May the God of justice continue to shine down upon those who will enter its doors for the next hundred years. And may he help each of us to reflect in our daily lives the noble ideals for which this magnificent place stands. Amen. Chris Hughes, TimesLeader.com, Wilkes-Barre.